Knife Defense Series. Straight knife stab to center of mass. Situation. The attacker takes out a knife and tries to stab your abdominal area. When you see that the attacker is holding a knife, running away is your best option. If your attacker is very close and you can't run away, then calm down. Do not focus all of your attention on his weapon. Focusing on his weapon will cause you to panic, which can be fatal. Calm your attacker down. Do not provoke him to attack you. When the attacker stabs straight towards you, block the attacker's arm using the 360 defense lower inner block. Aim for his wrist. By blocking the attacker's arm, even if you miss the wrist of the hand holding the knife, you still change the striking path of the knife, making it so that the knife won't stab you. Note, this block is very powerful and directing it to the wrist may knock the knife out of the attacker's hand. If that happens, simply proceed with the technique. Immediately grab the attacker's wrist with your free hand and straighten out his arm in order to control the threat. Quickly, raise his arm to chest height, repeatedly elbow his ribs. Move on to elbowing the side of his head until fatigue is noticed. Elbow the back of the attacker's head, continuing the swing and lowering his center of mass, giving you more control over his arm. Slide your arm that has elbowed the back of his head around his forearm on the opposite side of his body from above and lock by grabbing your other arm's wrist. After that, turn into him, putting pressure on his shoulder and elbow joint by squeezing your arm together and tightening the lock. Using the hand that is already holding your attacker's wrist, grasp higher on his wrist joint, putting him into a wrist lock. Kneel or squat down, pinning him on the floor. You will gain full control of his limb, further his body as you tighten your hands. In case he hasn't dropped the knife or he's persistently trying to escape your hold, Furthermore, not listening to your verbal commands, put full pressure on his elbow and wrist joint. This will break them both, causing him excruciating pain. Run away and call police. Note, if someone is with you, do not let go of the attacker's arm. Keep him in the lock. Moving his broken wrist and elbow will cause him extreme pain, which will subdue him while your friend calls the police and until they arrive. This is a serious and dangerous move, and shall only be practiced while using a rubber knife. Even the best Krav Maga masters agree that no move will work perfectly 100% of the time. In a real situation, using this move, you may get minor cuts. This is a last resort move only. Do not practice this technique unless you are properly trained or have proper supervision. Subscribe for updates on new videos by How to Krav Maga.